yesterday I spent a lot of time trying to search for other solutions for people whose Modern Warfare 2 still does crash or basically they can't even launch the game sometimes. And I came across a very nice solution which one of my viewers actually suggested me under one of my latest videos guys which I'm going to talk about in today's video. Also don't forget to check out the previous guides guys because I already have a ton of them with different solutions and some of these might work for you, some of them of course not guys, I'm just trying to collect as many data as possible so I can help out as many people as possible if that makes a lot of sense. And a ton of people were commenting down under one of my latest videos that simply updating their motherboard BIOS to a newer version already fixed it for them that their game wasn't crashing anymore. It by the way also fixed Warzone of course also crashing since they're both built on the same engine so therefore if you experience any of these glitches on both of these games guys this can already do it. This is my current motherboard the Z790 Gaming X AX and I just simply went on Google typed it in there and then we now have the latest version guys you can see here we first of all have um, audio just simply go on the website and then we have something like BIOS and for all the other manufacturers it doesn't matter if you have an Asus one if you have I don't know a gigabyte one or whatever motherboard you just simply have to go on the website and just simply look for the one with the latest update which would be right now here this one on the 3rd of November and it's called F3F where you just simply have to download it from the website itself guys. And once we actually have the file here on our PC you basically just simply have to extract it into a folder guys and from there on you just simply have to look now for the largest file which would be this one here and the rest you can straight up like delete from it you know and then you have to put this specific file onto a USB drive guys plug it in the back of your main board there's most of the time like a specific slot which already says BIOS on it for me it's like red marked and it says like BIOS update just gonna put a picture right now you're on screen you gotta plug it in there and start your computer on most of the main boards nowadays there's also a specific BIOS update button on your motherboard so therefore what you gotta do is put the USB stick into your motherboard click onto this button and your PC is gonna start and boot exactly from the USB stick giving you the latest version of your motherboard BIOS and then you're already done. You're just simply gonna let your PC run for a couple of minutes guys and it's gonna do automatically everything. You're not gonna lose any data by the way. I know so many people are always like confused if I update my BIOS do I also lose all my data? No you don't guys. It's just simply updating all the controllers which are surrounding your motherboard so therefore you don't have to be worried about anything and then once you're done with it you're gonna unplug the USB stick and your motherboard is gonna be fully updated and you're basically chilling. Make sure to try it out guys and let me know afterwards if this was helpful so a lot of other people can see okay this is actually like a possible solution and with that said we're basically done here.